Hi everybody. Yeah, so we're actually outside. It's, you're probably going to see this in 21. Yeah, you're definitely going to see this in 21, but it's still 2020. It's a few days before Christmas. We decided, let's go to a place where there'll be the least people right now. Have you guessed where? Yeah. The hint in the background. Yeah, we're in the tech district, pretty much. Our, what do you call it? The dark lands, yes. Our silicon dock, if you want to sound like a strange person trying to think that we're mimicking Silicon Valley. Uh, yeah, we're going to walk around here and, you know, if you're coming to Dublin, this is pretty much where, if you're working in one of the tech offices in this, you know, area, this is what you see in as your view every single day. It's been nine months since I've been out here, so yeah, let's see what's there, what's new, and just have a nice chill walk. Yeah, we, we got pretty lucky today because the weather is pretty much gorgeous in comparison to what it was like, you know, the past couple days. Yeah, yesterday, like oh my god. constant rain. <laughs> and gloomy, that was really gloomy. Yeah, the curious thing is that there's pretty much no one here as expected, just across the river here. Um, this is cool because a lot of buildings over that side didn't exist when we first came. This was all like 20, 30 years ago. Nothing, really, and this is kind of like the tech boom, the actual other boom before. Celtic boom, right, that's the thing. Celtic Tiger, sorry, wrong names, got my names right. Yeah, so most of these buildings that we're showing you is pretty new. And yeah, if you want to live out here, you need a good, good, good salary. Pretty much. And good nerves to be actually paying that much money <laughs> for accommodation. So one of the things that still surprises me every time when I see it is how the entire modern Dockland district is just built into really old parts of town. So you'll have really old houses and then suddenly the high rises start. There's like no decision, it's just suddenly like the huge juxtaposition of the really old architecture and then the new building. And sometimes you'll also find some of the old buildings still scattered across the docklands. And people obviously took great care not to remove at least the shade, there might be nothing behind it. But at least part of it they tried to keep, so it's also fun trying to spot the older structures in between all the new high rises. Grand Canal docks, as you can see there with the sign, this area that we're actually in is pretty new. When I started working here, a lot of these buildings were still under construction. I'm not sure, but I think that this building over here that you're seeing is a residential building, but it might be just one of the tallest buildings here. And of course, you're seeing lots of food places, like, yeah, one of my friends, that Art of Coffee, one of his favorite spots, and Fresh. Yeah, Fresh is having a massive expansion. There are like four of them already in the area. So um, this is actually my first time in this part of this area and it looks pretty cool. So when we first moved to Ireland, actually the first place we came to the weekend before I started to work is the Docklands because we just wanted to know what are the areas going to be like that we're going to be working in and it's crazy how much everything here has changed since then. Even just since March we've been working remotely because of the pandemic and we come back and there's like entire buildings that weren't there before and there's still building stuff and it's a bit strange because if you look through the windows, all the offices are empty. We saw one office, a newly built building, the chairs literally still had the plastic covers on it. The, everything looked completely new, no one had even moved in yet before the pandemic started. So curious to see how it's going to look like in the next nine months maybe. Walking across the bridge over the lock gave us a reminder of what the area was originally. As the new buildings turn to older buildings, we wonder what the people who lived here for years and decades before thought of the rising towers looking outside their windows. Is the Docklands a perfect example of development coupled with gentrification? The mix of office, residential, places to eat, relaxation, even groceries is built to attract tech workers and probably keep them close to work, tempting them to put in just a few extra hours of work per week. We walked down the road, seeing the new Google buildings in the horizon and the sunlight over the Aviva Stadium. It was a reminder that Dublin can be a beautiful city and is a beautiful city. Working in the Docklands is an amazing experience, but if you're working in tech, it shouldn't be your only experience. 
the more real and authentic experience in Ireland rates the further away you are from this area. If you don't work in tech, we suggest you still visit. From Irish pubs having chowder for lunch, to Italian pizzerias, to Mexican inspired burrito places, eating out is a delight. And on a warm day, nothing beats taking a minute to appreciate the sun glistening over the waters. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe for more videos about living and working in Dublin and Ireland.